Joining us now is George Anders. He's the senior editor at large at LinkedIn, a website where we should all be updating our profiles and uh, sharing the best of what we do professionally. George, you recently covered um, actually the decline of remote work, which sends shivers down so many people's spines. How is that playing out in the economy? We know that some companies, Disney, Bob Iger's coming back and he's like yeah. four day work weeks are back. How is it playing into um, the numbers we're seeing? So this has been a really interesting trend. If we look back a year ago, uh, there was far more job openings than there were job candidates. So companies were willing to do almost anything to make work more appealing, and that included opening up a lot of remote opportunities. We're going in the other direction now. And what we found in our LinkedIn data is we've gone from 20% of available jobs offering remote to down to just 14%. And in fact, for December, it's down to 13%. Uh, so that opportunity to work anywhere is just as you say, it's diminishing. Hmm, that's really interesting. Tell us uh, which sectors are most impacted by the demand for workers to actually physically return to an office space. So we're still seeing a lot of remote jobs for tech, but not as many as there used to be. Uh, and there are other laptop professions, those kinds of areas of work where as long as you've got an internet connection and a powerful computer, you can do your work. We think of media, we think of law, uh, we think of finance. All of those are areas that are starting to pull back. There's more of a pressure to come into the workplace. And there's more of a, of a belief on management's part that if you really want to get the best from your people, you need to have them on site. You need to have your salespeople all jazzed up working together. You need to have your engineers and your product people all brainstorming together. And at least in the eyes of senior management, there's a belief that if you have people scattered all over the country, you don't quite get that dynamic. I think what we're witnessing is a bit of like a pendulum swing between mm. what generally baby boomers believe and what younger people, you know, millennials and Gen Z believe. And to your point, it's that productivity only happens in person. That's the bottom line. And we need to increase profits. Whereas younger people say, but I'm happier at home. I, I enjoy the flexibility. I have more time with my family and my pets. Everyone's got a dog. Um, so what do you think? Do you think this will be temporary? Um, the kind of restriction and back to in-person work, or will we see this flux continue to swing? So the first thing I want to do is put down a marker for Gen Z. Uh, what we found in our own uh, surveys of worker attitudes is the millennials absolutely, just as you say, are very interested in remote and hybrid work. For people who are coming into the workforce in their early 20s, and this is their first job, they actually want that companionship. They want that sense of having their friends at work. Hmm. So there's a little bit of an anomaly there. It's kind of interesting. But in terms of the general direction, uh, yeah, especially with the outlook for the overall economy being a little bit shaky, I think management to some extent gets the upper hand that when there's a labor shortage and people are trying to make work as appealing as possible, that's a great time to add to your ask list as an employee. When the concern is, will I still have a job? That's when management can say, yes, but it's gonna have to be like this. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. George, uh, it looks like you're at home. Uh, how's Lincoln feel about that? Uh, so, so far, we are very hybrid friendly. Uh, I was in the office yesterday. I just want my boss to know that as well as anyone else. <laughs> but, <laughs> just in case that there are a lot of things, a lot of things you can do faster and quicker at home. So I think we still look for that high energy when you come into the office. But we recognize that sometimes, uh, especially with commutes, with family situations, what have you, the, hmm. the hybrid work at home option is valuable. From the lips of the expert. But George, George what, what is your preference? I'm just curious. Would you do four days? In the office, would you rather have three at home or what's your opinion? I'm, I'm going to tilt to at least 50% home, but there is something special about coming in and pitching ideas, uh, seeing colleagues. But then when you actually just have to buckle down and do the work, uh, being able to have the flex time of work at home is a real advantage. All right. I like that split. 50-50 yeah. is good. We don't have that option. No, <laughs> All right. George Anders, thank you. <laughs> thank you, George. It's a pleasure. Good to be on.